Hi guys, my name's Rick Shields down here at Hamilton Island Golf Course in Australia. One of the most beautiful settings I've ever had the pleasure of filming, of playing at and just spending time here. And while I'm here, I'm gonna film some golf tips. So we're just on the second tee, second championship tee here at the, uh, the championship golf course. Um, and it's a very tight hole, it's a par four, only really about 400 meters, just under 400 meters, so just over 400 yards. So it's not a massive, huge hole, but we've got some big decisions to make on this hole because it's a very tight hole. You should see a little clip coming up on the screen. There's not much room around this golf course anyway, generally, left and right, as many golf courses are. So if you play a golf course and you think, well, yeah, that sounds like my hole, or it might sound like every hole where there's not much room left or right of fairway. You can't just hit driver everywhere. You've got to really plot your way around and think about it. So if I hit driver down here, the hole gets very, very, very small, incredibly small. So I'm going to go for the widest part of the fairway, which is about 200 meters away, 220 yards away. It's the widest part of this fairway. So I'm going to aim for that. Now that depends on what club you guys would want to hit to the widest section. That's just saying on this actual hole. Other holes, the widest section might be 170 meters, etc., 190 yards away. You've got to plot your way around that. But I'm also going to tell you how then you make the right swing thoughts to hit that shot. And make sure you don't doubt yourself. So like I say, if I hit driver here, I just would not feel confident hitting that, that fairway at all. So I'm going to hit a club that I feel confident with hitting in that 200 mark. And I'm going to hit my three iron. Now that could be for a lot of golfers out there. That might be your, your three wood, your five wood, your rescue. But make good decisions when you play. It might even be your driver. You might think, you know what, I hit my driver well enough. But on very tight tee shots where you need to put yourself in play, think about a club that's going to be reliable to get you there. And it's about the trust. So I that now decision is made. I'm taking the high tee peg out with the high ball out. That decision has been made. In my head now, I have to think, right, I'm going to plot my way to the biggest part of this fairway. I want to do practice swings that are, are visualizing the golf ball flying into that area. And the big thing with tight tee shots, don't let the hazards or the worries to the side affect your golf shot. You've got to think right now, You've made the correct decision, done, tick, job done. You've now got to execute the shot. So address behind the ball, you've got the visualization, pick a point out that's closer to you, that's in line with the fairway. So about, let's say two to four foot in front of you. Look over that, feel confident that you're gonna hit a spot on the fairway. So you're not trying to hit um, just, down there, you're trying to hit a real small spot on the fairway. So I can see a shadow down there that's my fairway. And honestly, now, even though I'm talking about this, I'm not thinking about hazards. I've not once said there, don't hit it right, don't hit it left. I've thought, pick a spot on the, on the fairway and hit it at that spot. Spot on the fairway and hit it at that spot. just down the right side of the fairway. That is perfect. Granted, I didn't hit that spot. I didn't hit the tiny spot that I picked out, but I've hit it into a position where I've still hit the widest side of the fairway and not put myself in trouble. That's what's really important. Very important. So quick recap. If you're playing a tight tee shot, still try and plot yourself to the widest part of that tight tee shot. Do practice swings that help you visualize a fantastic shot. We're only thinking positive thoughts. Fantastic shot. Pick a point out in front of you that's in line with your target. Aim towards that. Look at a very small point on the fairway and hit. Exactly the same as my first, just down that right side. I'm not saying correct, but it's hit fairway both times. That's what's mega, mega important, that you're hitting fairway from such a tight shot. And notice how the words, I didn't tell you what hazards were down there. I didn't say there was trees 
left. I didn't say there was trees right. I said, I didn't say don't go here, don't go there. I was saying, pick a spot, pick a club that you feel confident of hitting that spot. That could be any club particular. Hit that spot and then be positive thoughts. You're going to hit that spot. It's the spot that you're going to aim for. Playing partners will also affect this outcome because they may say, oh, don't go right, Rick. Try and blank that out. Try and put that to bed. Your positive thoughts will massively override those negative thoughts. Guys, thanks. So, thank you very much for watching. Plenty more tips coming here from Hamilton Island Golf Club. I want to thank the team down here for letting me come down and do some filming. Do subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter. And this is me at Hamilton Island on the second hole. I'm going to do some more filming now. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.